Tourism is a sizable source of income for Korea's cultural capital of Gyeongju, so the city is developing new ways to pass on its magnificent cultural assets from more than a thousand years back to the next generation. Oh Seong gives us a tour in our news feature tonight. Every year, the city of Gyeongju attracts millions of tourists with its numerous cultural attractions. From traditional Hanok houses and elaborate sculptures to magnificent Buddhist temples. A mere two hours down from Seoul on the KTX bullet train, the former capital of the Shilla Kingdom is known as a museum without walls. In recent years, however, the city has been venturing beyond its traditional tourist hotspots to develop new and sustainable attractions, and that's what I'm here to see today. Just a five-minute drive from the city centre lies the remains of the biggest Buddhist temple built in the Shilla dynasty. Hangyongsa Temple was built in 569 AD during the apex of the dynasty. The nine-story pagoda beside it, at 80 meters high, was the tallest structure in Asia at the time, a testimony of the kingdom's unity and strength. However, the entire site was burnt to the ground during the Mongolian invasion in the mid-1200s, leaving only a few stones remaining. Efforts to restore the temple site began in the late 1970s and continue to this day. Considering the sheer size of the Huangyongsa Temple, we will begin by restoring the southern gate starting next year. Once we acquire enough historical evidence, we will restore the nine-story tower and the main hall as well. A stone's throw away, a cultural centre recently opened to promote these restoration efforts. A scale model of the nine-story pagoda stands in the hall. It's a tenth of the actual size, but the details are remarkably meticulous. Over eight years, based on historical records of the tower and other relics, the model restored the original's details to the fullest. Key artifacts from the more than 40,000 relics dug up from the site are exhibited in the center. The Tejubongi is one of them. It's a historical text that gives account of how the temple was built and maintained. And this piece played an important role in restoration efforts. A digital display offers a view from the balcony 13 centuries ago. Rows and rows of quaint Hanok houses against the serene mountainous backdrop. More than a flashback of the past, it is rather a vision of what could be once the site is restored to its former glory. Socio-cultural sustainability also includes restoring what existed only in old texts and materializing such relics for future generations. Being able to touch and experience something is a completely different concept from just seeing through text. So restoration work through historical research ultimately helps Gyeongju further instill its cultural identity. West of the city center, huge Hanok houses made of glass impose their presence. It's a modern-day take on the East Palace and the Woji Pond, where rare plants, birds and animals were raised for the first time in Korea, according to historical records. Inside the botanical gardens, there is a jungle of more than 400 plant types from all over the world. Eccentric flowers and plants from tropical countries put an exotic spin on the otherwise traditional setting. There are traces of history everywhere, like a mini-sized palatial pond and lotus engravings on the paths. Crossing over to the bird park, you can find more than 200 types of birds, from ducks and parrots to flamingos and toucans. <laughs> Snakes, badgers and other creatures can also be spotted. The complex is the first and biggest experiential zoo and garden in the country a place to enjoy and interact with nature's finest, as our ancestors did for the first time in this city. Two years and five months into our opening in September 2013, we hit one million visitors, so that's around 400,000 a year. Because of its popularity, a second botanical and zoo complex will be built. Diverse and authentic cultural experiences bring in more tourists to a region, which spurs local spending and eventually invigorates the local economy. So restoration projects with a modern twist, like Dongbungwon in Gyeongju, play a vital role in that sense. Reviving its glorious past, the city of Gyeongju is building up new landmarks 
to grow as the capital of Korea's cultural heritage. Oh Seung, Arirang News.